grassroots activist Mkapeli Bonono, Sinigo Mia, and Mapiwe Gasa appeared in court today. Their court case was postponed. This is their story. On 4 May, Mkapeli Bonono and Sinigo Mia of the Sheikh Dwellers Movement Abashali Basem Jondol in South Africa were arrested and detained. Here is Mkapeli Bonono leading a song at Abashali Basem Jondolo's Unfreedom Day on 25 April in the Ekenana land occupation in KwaZulu Natal. Umhlaba Izindlu, Nesitunz, land, housing, dignity. This is Abashali's slogan. The Constitution of South Africa guarantees citizens the right to assemble, while it also determines that everyone has the right to have access to adequate housing. Bonono and Mia were merely organizing the people in reclaiming what is their constitutional right. Keeping Bonono and Mia for a crime they did not commit, nor have they even conspired to commit these lies purported by the state, is in its own a criminal act and thuggery of the highest order. We demand an unconditional release of Bonono and Mia now. Stop the political persecution of Abashali Basam Jondolo activists. Right now, our movement is under attack. Our deputy president, rather, has been arrested uh, for conspiracy to murder. We know our president has been uh, working very hard to improve the lives of the ordinary people in the shacks. The only reason why he's behind bars today is because he has been vocal in holding the states accountable. He has been critical with the way the ANC government has, treating people, has been treating people in living in shacks. We know this is a revolutionary. We know that they are being arrested for no reason. We know that they are being arrested for their political involvement, for holding the South African government uh, accountable. We know that we are being attacked because our president has been awarded recently the Pay Anger Prize and the government in South Africa does not uh, uh, recognize that. And therefore we are calling interne for international solidarity from all over the world that each and every one of you go to the embassy and say free our deputy president Bonono. The ANC has been oppressing the Abashlali Basam Jondolo because we are organizing crashes, community halls, uh, and so on. In the recent fire, it was the Abishlali and, and the comrades from early morning market that helped the people. These trumped up charges, these false charges, these fake charges, it's completely dishonest. I remember one organization with a Sanganyele, I will pass a maze of an candolo, because we go to the Esa de Gasuote awake. ABM has always been there for the Congolese during the xenophobic attacks, protecting Congolese families, and of course, all other issues around the African continent and the world 
Comrade Bonano has always been there. I am Ali Uba from the Gambia. We call on the government of South Africa to free him and all the other comrades who are behind bars who are fighting for the masses of our people in South Africa and on the African continent. I know him to be a humble person, a leader of the people's struggles, and a committed person who wants to see the full transformation of society. These are men who stand for truth, for progress, and for justice. As a matter of agency, we call on the South African government to release these men with immediate effect unconditionally. We stand with you. Our movement, our school are with you in this difficult moment. He's a principled leader who understands that the human beings of the world have a right to housing and dignity, no matter whether they are in South Africa or Palestine. Vivre la liste des peuples, vivre le camarade Bonono et d'autres camarades qui sont en prison, vivre la solidarité socialiste Amanda Haweto. We're calling on the, for the immediate release of those comrades so that they can pursue their struggle for Umshaba, Izindu, Nestunzi. We say... Free our comrades. We need them home. We have work to do. George will walk free. Of that, have no doubt. We will ensure it. I stand with the people's right to breathe and to live. To dream of a world where housing, food, healthcare, laughter, stories, all of these are our common right. Do not lose hope. Your strength and resilience in these times are extremely inspiring. Justice will eventually prevail. Don't forget the man-made law is limited, but to stand in solidarity and fight together till the end is internal. So today, I call on the governors and police of South Africa to free Bonono now. Viva Bonono Viva! Amandla, away to Inkani. Hey,